Bang! Knaves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're checking out a new prototype. Now, I gotta say, I love the look of this thing. There's a lot of things I like about this. However, I do have a couple serious issues with this knife that we will go over here in a minute. But first, I want to go over the things I do love about this knife because there is a lot here. Let's check out the sheet really quick so you guys can pause and read if you guys want to. You can see we have magnet cut steel. And okay, so there is a problem with the magnet cut. Um, Best Tech has informed them that there's no longer any magnet cut in stock and their supplier has stopped exporting to them. So for the time being, they have no words when they'll be able to get magnet cut back in stock. So it's going to have to be switched out to M390. So it just is what it is. They can't get it. So, you know, so... Uh, not magnet cut it is going to be m390 now the pre-orders will go live december 30th 2022 with the delivery time no later than june 30th 2023 for those who may be wondering the hole in the backspacer is not meant to be a functional lanyard hole i said you could put some tritium in there but it's simply a design cue similar to the hole in the clip and the blade which is similar to the silhouette of our logo Overlays will be available separately as well as during the pre-order in all configurations for those who want more options. See the website for more details. That's awesome. I like that you'll be able to have um, maybe buy an extra pair of scales so you could swap them out, kind of change the look of your knife. I love that. Steel, and it is titanium. It is a titanium liner lock. The OEM is best tech. So we have titanium over titanium liners i really love to see that titanium on titanium oh that's awesome you can see we have a steel lock bar insert in there um drop point blade flat grind perfect sharpening toil and plunge grind and finger choil very comfortable in the hand back here yeah i feel the clip a bit but it's still comfortable. I'm not going to complain about it. And the clip does work good in and out of the pocket. I did try that out. So very cool on that. The ergos, you know, like I was saying, you know, being able to get up nice and tight to that edge, you're going to be able to do heavy push cuts. Then because of the straight back, you're going to be able to do good rope cutting and pull cuts. That's awesome. Pinch grips, you know, with the finger choil again, it's going to be really good. So lots of great things about this. Let's talk about the action. You have the hole deployment that works great you can thumb flick it or thumb roll it um you can easily thumb roll it because it's not a frame lock so you don't have to worry about locking yourself out and again it's going to be great for lefties as well now the clip is not reversible but and i don't know if maybe they're gonna add that in later i don't know this is a prototype but then you also have the front flipper jimping done perfect perfect jimping up and around the exact kind of jimping you want you can put it right there on the corner and it still works good you can do all the little tricks to front flipping and yeah very good front flipper so the action is amazing very smooth on the drop you have the detent nice and early so it's easy to get past and yeah, very smooth on the drop. Now, if you look, you can see the back spacer has this little divot right there. Well, now the thing with that is that if you're going to have that, this better be perfectly centered, which in this case, it's a prototype. So I'm not really that worried about it. And it's, it's damn close to perfect. If not, um, you know, maybe a little tiny bit off, but that's the thing. When you have those divots in the back spacers, the tip has to line up with the middle. Otherwise it will look bad it will look off the milling on the titanium looks really good i love the swirls it does add some texture it is heavy milling but since it's running this direction it doesn't affect the clip so very awesome like i said i love the shape and the profile and all that good stuff with this now let's go over some of my issues um one being a complete fail but we're gonna go through it so one the lock bar access so when you chamfer both edges, that's okay on a thick frame lock. But when you get to thin lock bars like this, you can't chamfer the edges like this. This is sharp. It's annoying. It's irritating. It's not. So, it's, I don't enjoy unlocking this at all. It's tight to get in there. I'm, I'm constantly trying to push on this side. And then for me to get past there and get into there, I'm hitting this edge. 
you need to knock, or in my opinion, what I would do is I would knock this back right here. I would leave this so that the shape would not be changed, but just this part of the liner would be cut out. That way I can come from the side and have comfortable access to it. This edge right here, you know, would actually work if I could get to it and push it from the edge. But instead, I am pushing this top edge right here um, instead of the chamfered edge. I'm hitting the top sharp part of the edge. So that is one bit, one thing. Next thing, um, which this one's not that big of a deal, but I'm still going to bring it up. I wish that the thickness, the spine thickness went around right here to about right here before this chamfer started. The chamfer starts right here, which, you know, it's not sharp, it's not bad, but it's also not comfortable. Um, up here on the corner, it's comfortable. But when you talk about getting the front of it, it, it is a little bit sharp. And I think if they just, if you just wrapped it around right here and then started it right here and down, it would be much more comfortable. But in this case, you can see it's very narrow right here, which, you know, is a, is a bit sharp. Perfect jimping, though. So I got to give them that. Now, the next thing, <clears throat> um, which I've done strong lockouts and soft lockouts. And either way, it does it. So it's not from the way it's locked up. And this thing has been used. So it's not... I don't mean like used like and abused. I mean, it's been... It's been passed around a little bit, so there's no reason to say, oh, it needs to break in. So it fails very easily. Um, even with a strong lockup, it fails. So since it fails, that you know that's a failure, right? Now, it is a prototype, so it's not that big of a deal. But I will say that if you look at the lock face geometry, it's the angle of it, it goes too much at an angle. This first part right here, right where it sinks in it, needs to be just a tiny, tiny bit flatter. The reason why is because then when this is applying pressure downward, it's hold, it's a, it's flat on flat. It's not going to be like at an angle, you know, hitting a flat spot. You want it flat on flat. And that is a very subtle thing, but that very subtle difference is all the difference in whether or not it's going to fail or not. So barely flatten that spot out just a little bit so that it's not pushing the lock bar out of the way and failing it. So, which, you know, this is leather right here. So I'm not damaging the spine or anything. Um, damaging my leather though. But anyway, so that's my issues with it. Now, other than that, which I know that one's significant, but I have a feeling they're going to deal with it from the factory. Best Tech does a really good job, and this is a prototype. Um, I do like a lot about this knife, though. I love that it has the big hardware. I love the clip. I love the profile of the ergos. I love the blade shape. I love... The grind could be a little bit thinner. I'll give it that. A little bit thinner grind. It'd be nice if it had a hollow. Not that big of a deal. It could definitely be a flat. But I think if it thinned out just a little bit. But you can see the geometry here because of the way they did the, the plunge grind. The best plunge grind ever. Look at this. From here to here, you have all that steel to remove. So when I turn it this way, this is actually the cutting geometry right here you're looking at. So... And, the, and it's not bad, you know, with a low angle edge or, you know, once it has a good, um, good edge on there, it's going to cut just fine. So I, I don't want to make it seem like, like it's a bad cutter or that it's super thick or anything. When I say thin it out, I mean a little bit. And I think that that would change a lot. Thickness behind the edge is about 19 thousandths. So, you know, and that's to start off. So after sharpening, 20, 21 thousandths. Um, you know, after the second edge, 22, 23 thousandths. You know, so I think if you, if it was thinned out maybe to like 17 thousandths behind the edge, the, you, you would see um, even better cutting performance. It would be faster to sharpen, easier to sharpen. And I think the edge retention would also, we'd see the edge retention go up too. Especially if you got it down to like 15 thousandths behind the edge. Holy cow. Yeah, it would definitely, the edge retention would massively go up. A lot of things would go up with that. Cutting performance and yeah. But all in all, I like it a lot. I do like it a lot. It's my style, my kind of knife. It's a good looking knife. Damn good looking knife. So I got to give him credit, man. He knocked this design out of the park. I think with these couple little features fixed and changed, um, it would be even, I, I it'd be right up my alley. But I personally, I would have to modify the lock bar myself to put up with this. Because, you know, like with the lock up, to be honest, you know, 
if I'm not giving it a good thwack, it, it's fine. You know, most people would grab it and go like this, and it, it wouldn't. Eh, maybe I, maybe I have a little tiny bit of lock rock. So yeah, I guess. Uh, but anyways, my point is though is that you know it it's an awesome knife, and I I think you know if this lock part thing was different, that would massively change my uh, my feeling about it. Um, even if this was the same, I would still be okay with it. Um, I'd prefer it to be a little bit thicker up here, but I'd be okay with it. I'd still you know love it. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. I'm gonna link everything down in the description. Peace.